<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Odd Apostrophe. Uh, let's check out Story of Seasons. Um, was it Pioneers of uh, Olive Town? Pioneers of Olive, Olive Town? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Pioneers of Olive Town. Okay, sorry. There's a few games of this. Um, Alright, so it uses online features. Uh, I, I don't know. What? Let's see, the following... Oh. oh. Here, fine. I got some downloadable content. Let's look at some options here. Uh-huh. 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 Alright, well... All right, well, give me a minute here. The fire's going out. Okay, sorry about that. What the heck's going on here? All right. Let's see, select a difficulty. Normal mode, bonus of sound in seating mode will not be given for players who prefer more of a challenge. Seating mode, items will shift for more money. Player stamina will increase, decrease more slowly. Friendship levels will increase at a faster rate. Still experience points are easy to gain. Shop prices will be lowered. Oh, oh I am a seedling. I am a person who has never actually gotten to the end of one of these games. I've always enjoyed my time playing them, but never finished them. Which I'm fine with. I've accepted the fact that I won't finish a lot of games. I just enjoy uh, the time I have with them. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. Did he die? Because they always die at the beginning of these games. Okay, uh... Deep brown, huh? Give me some black eyes. Oh gosh, boy, these choices are interesting. Interesting. Wait, why is very short hair? That's very short hair. Well, the definition of short hair is a little strange to me. All right, well, we'll give him a little fro. A short hair fro. Gentle. 
elite Famanon. Mischievous. Friendly, confident, sleepy, sly, stubborn. I mean, I guess Pioneer is fine. All right, I didn't really change much. Hair color. Yeah, not sure. I'm gonna get an old young man. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Jacket or a farm skirt? I uh, suppose a jacket's fine. Hmm, it's interesting. It's not uh, asking you to pick a gender, but you can pick some, you know, typical gender clothes, I guess. Maybe it doesn't matter. Make them easy to see. I heard all of town. Hi. <laughs> Who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. Ah, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Uh, by the way, might I have your name? I see. So her name is Big Dick, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh my goodness, your birthday is... Uh, is it what I think it is? Let's have an uh, autumn birthday. I've never had one of those. Okay. I remember now, Autumn 16. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, then that would make you... Grandson, yeah. Oh, now you choose gender. Okay. Yes, of course. My apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to all of town. Come on, then. I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Yeah. 
Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? Yes, that's what it was. Plenty farm. Interesting. Are oh, interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. Here you are. I'll pass these along to you. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you are well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all that. Uh, using tools and items, press left and right on the D-pad to select an item in the item bar. You can, you can use the highlighted item with Y. The bag. Items you find will place in your bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Clearing land using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grass. Utilize your tools, tools to clear the land. I realize this is a lot to take in and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah. And do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. Sleeping. Sleeping in your bed will recover your stamina. The game's progress will automatically be saved the next morning. You're welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Viewing farm tips, examining a book or bookshelf in your house will allow you to view tutorial tips you've seen thus far. Follow along so far? If you're unsure about anything, I can explain to you once more if you prefer. Uh, I'm good. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. And it's Mayor, after all. As a quick whirl of mayoral advice, I'd su suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow. Of, uh, stuff here. Let's uh, start clearing the land, shall we? If you sow seeds in your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor has taught you a little more about raising crops. Oh, do I not have any tools on me? What, didn't he say I had tools? Town. The tool bag. Your tools can all be stored in the tool bag. When you need them, take them out to use them, and when you're done, you can store them back in there. Make make the best use of your make the best use you can of the special tool storage. Let's see, that's an encyclopedia. What's this? It's a journal. Our notes. The radio. You can listen to weather forecasts on the radio. It's important for farmers to know what, weather, what the weather will be. You'll be able to listen to the forecast for the next day and beyond, so be sure to turn, tune in. Alright everyone, you know what time it is. We're coming at you with the weather report. 
Forking at clear sunny skies for spring one. Sunday, it'll be perfect weather for sitting outside at your favorite restaurant. Looks like spring two, Monday, is going to be a sunny one. The bright warm sunshine will be perfect for drying your laundry. Spring three, Tuesday will be sunny. I recommend using the good weather to your advantage. How about planting seasonal flowers? Thanks for tuning into our report. See you tomorrow. Let's see, what's the shipping thing? Can I change the camera? Oh, I can just move it just slightly. It's not a free camera. Any place I can fish, I'm assuming. Seriously, have no tools? Uh, okay, I guess we're talking to people then. Wild crops. If you discover crops you've seen for before, while clearing your land, harvest, and ship them as soon as you can. If you do, these crop seeds will become available for purchase at all town shops. I'm like a Pikmin. More onions, huh? This place all busted up. Got some frame facing issues. House of Animal Shop. Anybody inside? The Hoof House Animal Shop. The animal shop sells livestock and pets. If you tame wild animals on your farm, a large variety of animals will be available for purchase there. Hours operation 8 to 6 p.m. Close Tuesdays. Huh. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're Big Deek, right? I'm Patricia. I run the animal shop. Keep that in mind now. I expect you'll be needing to come by before long. Welcome to our animal shop. I know, I'm okay. Yeah. You're a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Big Deke, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, not a 60 frames per second game, but, uh, you know, it doesn't need to be. Huh? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my, you inherited that farm? That's wonderful. I'm Bridget. I'm very familiar with handling animals, so if you need any help with that, please ask me. Huh? As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up in various skills along the way. When these skills level up, you'll gain special traits and learn new crafts. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy, and you are? Oh, you're Big Dick. Uh, so you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come to play sometime? General store, the general store sells seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Their lineup changes each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Hours operation, 8 to 6 p.m., close Tuesdays. Oh, well, Tuesdays is the day everybody closes, huh? So. Hey, yeah, you look for anything in particular? Oh, so you're a big dick. I heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, the friendly neighborhood general of general store generalities. Okay, that's locked. I'm Jack, nice to meet you. Ah. Howdy, you're a big dick, right? I'm Angela, my family runs the general store. Nice to meet you. Just gonna 
snoop around your house. Oh man, you guys got a big house. Look at that. Well, I mean, it's just a shop. I'm assuming it's their house too. Unless you have a bed in your shop under normal conditions. Hello. Hello, have we met before? We haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name's Big D. Hi, I'm Raul. It's a pleasure to meet you. Raul. Raul. Yo. You come here to Sassy? I, I can guide you around if you want. Oh, you're the one who came on that motorcycle. Big dick, right? I'm Emilio. Don't you go forgetting it now, okay? Well, now you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before. Am I right? Don't you worry. This is a good. This is as good an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house. I'd rather it be put to good use. Ah, uh, using the fishing rod. You can cast out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish on the line, reel it in and begin the battle with your catch. The rules of fishing are simple. If there is a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. Simply face the water, throw out your line, and... The moment you nab something on the hook, start reeling it in. Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones just like me and Mon Monocles can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Got anything else to say, or...? Ah. Good to meet you. Could you be the owner of the new forum? You're Big Teak, right? My name is Manuela, and don't you forget it. I, I, I'm... I mean, unless there's more than one Manuela, I, I, I could probably remember that name. Ah. Dear me, I have not seen you in these parts before. Are you new to this town? You are Big Deke. A fine name. I shall commit it to memory. I am called Iori. I hope we will forge an excellent relationship. Uh. Hey, have I seen you before? Oh, your name's Big Deke, is it? I'm George, captain of the ferry. Good to meet you, lad. Okay, can I run? That's as much as I'm gonna run. Uh, this guy that greeted me. Registering for trips. When you register for a trip, your avatar will visit other players' towns all over the world. If you leave communication features turned on, farmers from all over the world can visit your town as tourists. By sending out a postcard, you can share a photo you've taken with farmers all over the world. If you leave communication features turned on, photos can be taken by other farmers. By other farmers will be displayed on your loading screen. Hey. If you're looking for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you've come to the right gal. Wait, you're Pig Teak? Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question as far as I'm concerned, so fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. Uh, I think I don't quite need the online features yet. Let's set things up before we turn that on. The Girls Rest and Hotel Cafe. The Girls Rest Hotel and Cafe. If you're not terribly hungry but need a light meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe. It's a great place to take a break every once in a while. Hours of operation 8 to 6 p.m. Close Tuesdays. Ahoy! You're a big dig, right? I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Oh, you haven't? I'm Jason. Though I may look the part of a dashing corsair, I'm actually the owner of the Girls' Rest Hotel. Corsair? You mean you make my memory? Oh -ho. Why, hello! I am called Lovett. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles and my discoveries. Do let me know if you happen upon any Olive Town delicacies. Hi there! Hello, Big Dick. I'm Sally. I run the cafe. Have some coffee. I make a mean cup of joe, if I do say so myself. Hi there! I'm okay.
Beth's room, Karina's room. Are they in their rooms? They have the whole floor to themselves? Hola, nice to meet you. I'm Marcos, a fisherman. And you're Big Deek, right? We're a tight-knit community here. Everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometime. Ah, hard to meet your wife. She's nice enough to give me a, a fishing pole. That's a normal thing to give somebody. Uh, Wynn's Flowers. Wynn sells a variety of flowers, flower seeds, and furniture at his shop. His lineup will change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. You can also request to make perfumes and bouquets. Also, operation 8 to 6, close Mondays. Close on Monday, huh? Oh, damn outlier. Yes, might I ask who you are? Your name is Big Deke. Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. My name is Lynn. I manage the flower shop with my grandpa. We'll be delighted to see receive your patronage. Hmm, oh. who are you again? Ah, oh, Big Deke, so you're the one then. Name is Wynn. My granddaughter and I run the flower shop. If you have more flowers or seeds, come to me. Okay, for now. Everybody's place is so nice. I'm gonna. I have a tent. I was like, does your daughter want to come and have dinner with me in my tent? If there were more tourists, then maybe I'd be able to make more friends, too. Or if you had a good personality. Uh, Worker's Base Tool Shop. The tool shop will upgrade your precious tools for you. You may also commission bag expansions there. If you'd like to carry more items at, at a time, I was Operation 8 to 6, closed Tuesdays. <coughs> Only the florist is closed Monday. Hey. hey, I'm Clemens. I'm the guy behind all the bits and bobs at the tool shop. And you are? Ah, so you're Big Deke. Good to meet you. How many tools? Not that I know of. I guess I had to be taught how to use tools. Yo. Oh, are you the one I've been hearing rumors about? Big Deke? I'm Lars. I'm my big brother, Clem, at the tool shop. You came here on a motorcycle, right? Well, it just so happens I'm Miss Town's motorcycle expert. If you ever need any help with that, I'm your guy. man told me all about you. You're Big Deke, right? Um, Jacopo. In case you haven't guessed, I'm the mayor's son. I got a gig working on the ferry. Pleasure's mine. Hello. Enchanté. Enchanté. I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town too, funny enough. We should help each other get settled. the mayor's house. Ah. Mama, hello there, and you are? Gracious, you're Big Deek. Now that I think of it, you do look a bit quite like your grandfather. My name's Jesse. I was good friends with your grandfather, you know. Okay. Ain't you Big Deek? I heard about you from Victor. I'm Simon. My daughter took over the general store for me, though I still keep her out. I helped pioneer this land with your grandfather, you know. Those were the days. Pardon me. Yes, you over there. Might I have a moment of your time? All of the museum was established so that tourists the world over could view some of us, the splendors of our, ta our town halls. As you can see, however, we currently have few spectacles to attract our visitors with. Quite the conundrum. For a while now, I have considered making 
part of the local wild animals, but I don't have the resources I need. I have a request for you. If you have the time to do so, would you be able to take pictures of those wild animals? Uh, so using camera photos can be taken with camera. You'll be able to move around while in camera mode as well. The blue outline will be displayed on wild animals whose photos you can donate to the museum. Oh, I suppose I should also mention that I have interest in building an aquarium. If you could donate any sea creatures to us, I'd be most grateful. Oh, and I almost forgot. From time to time, you might come across relics of ages past. Well, Brain, I can't get enough of them. If you find something out of the ordinary, feel free to show it to her. She'll examine it for you. We'd appreciate any support you could provide us. I'll be counting on you. I first meet you and just ask for something. The museum accepts a wide variety of donations, such as treasure you'll find in the farm, photos of wild animals and fish. How's Operation 9 to 6? Close Thursdays. Close Thursdays, okay. Uh, after making a new donation, Beth will create a and sell fa decor you can place in your home. If you happen upon any mysterious or time-worn objects, you can hand them over to Raina for appraisals. Um. Hello, you're Big Dick, right? My name's Beth. I'm something of an archaeological enthusiast. I'm on the hunt for antiques in this town. I'm only a guest staying at the hotel. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um. I just, I mean, like, I have to expect to see blathers in here. Requests from the townsfolk are posted up on the bulletin board in the back of Olive Hall. Submit the requested items and you'll be rewarded for your efforts. Can I talk to you? I talked to you both already. Getting title rewards whenever you fill certain conditions and obtain new titles, come to Olive Hall. You'll receive rewards based on the titles you've gained. I haven't done a thing. I don't imagine I have any titles to my name. Well, it's six o'clock, everything's closed. <laughs> hey, I'm Mikey. Fun fact, I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Pew pew! What's your name? Big Deke? Okay, I might remember that. Uh. Yodi, okay. You are Master Big D, correct? I have heard tell of you from Master Victor. I am called Dosetsu. Uh, Dosetsu, I have attended the young master, Lord Iori, since his birth. Hmm, nice, you have like a variety of different styles of decor. This shrine radiates a mysterious energy. Yeah, well, I think the camera doesn't move around too much. You just barely shift it left and right and up and down.
know if I've met everybody or not. I'm assuming it'll give me like some sort of indication if I have. I can't even use my fishing pole. I just got the thing. Yeah, well, that's fine. I just won't do anything at all. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> There's not going to be much people to chat. This is... I have a teeny tiny channel. <laughs> I think uh, some of the bigger streamers already covered this a little earlier today, too, so I'm a little bit late to the party. Uh, but, you know, I have to work all day. <laughs> so... Now, then, it's time I explain how to grow crops. But first, you'll be needing these. Uh, but uh, thanks for coming in. These will be your basic tools for field work, so take good care of them. Well, now I get them. Uh, seeds can be planted on untilled soil, so you will want to use the hoe to till it. Or seeds can't be planted on untilled soil. Uh, once that's done, you can sow seeds on the tilled soil. And, and this is important, you'll want to water your crops diligently every day. Don't forget about them. Uh, caring for crops, use the hoe to till fields. Once the fields are tilled, seals can be sown. They'll steadily grow in harvestable crops when watered daily. If your watering can runs out of water, you can take it to the well to refill it. After a few days of care, your crops will be ready to harvest. You can place crops in that shipping bin over there. They'll be shipped out and you'll be compensated for your hard work. I think it's about time we put those... I think... I think it's about time we put those turnip seeds I just gave you to good use. Uh, items you place in the shipping bin will be exchanged for money the next day. The items will remain in the shipping bin until the next day and can be, can be returned to your bag if need be. Ah, by the way, did you happen to see any wild crops while you were clearing the farm? Oh yeah, Terry took care of those. Uh, if you ship those crops out, our local shops will begin to sell the seeds, so be on the lookout for them. Uh, I did that yesterday. Uh, let's see, tomorrow I'll teach you how to make use of any logs and stones you might have collected. They look like junk, I know, but they're useful materials. Oh yeah, don't I know it. Why am I going out of my way to teach you all this, you ask? I owe your grandfather a great debt, and I've always wanted to repay him for it. Teaching his grandson is one of the ways I can do that. Oh, well, what exactly do you owe him? In any case, I should get going. But worry not, I'll be back tomorrow. When your grandfather's moved on, I, I'm not here to collect my grandfather's debts. It'd be terrible of me. Okay, uh, I am assuming I can start using tools, yes? Uh, turn up, where do I? Oh, I guess that set the well. Uh, Shipping bin. Uh, oh, here, right next to the fire. <laughs> in case, in case things go wrong. Oh, okay. I can only go out here, huh? Uh, well. Okay. Uh, I got some turnips and share seeds. Where are my tools? How am I supposed to clear the land? Okay. Wait, am I missing something? Tools. The tool bag. Oh. 
Wait a minute. Okay, here is my tool bag. Okay. And I'll set my tool bag stuff here. Oh, I'm just surprised they don't set the tools for you. That's really interesting. Okay, well here, let me put the watering can first. And then the hoe. And then... Do the axe. Do the scythe. And the hammer. And the fishing rod can go all the way over here. I don't know how much fishing we're going to do. Okay, that's better. Till. Ah, oh, darn it. No oh boy, I can't wait till I get tools that are a little bit more sophisticated. That's okay. I guess it's better than the older days, you know, of uh, Harvest Moon where you'd have to click on something and then equip it and then you could use it and then click on something and equip it and use it and go into the menu. Uh, so they've made some things more, a little bit more convenient over the years. What? There's a wild chicken out here? Oh. Uh, I better watch my stamina. If there's one thing I'm notorious for is not paying attention to my stamina in these games. Passing out. Plant some things before I forget. Put some turnips here. And we can do oh, cherry seedlings. Maybe I need to go over here then. Uh, okay, they just go straight into the ground. Oh, the cherry seedlings can go out here. They need space. Oh, the turnips for eating? It's not for planting? Oh, I guess if I need stamina. <laughs> oh, did I not equip my watering can? I did. I can tell this is going to get in my way. Ooh, a strong sucker.
Okay, what else is going to cause problems? Uh, I guess I should make my way to the chicken coop. Boy, a lot of trees to clear out. Don't worry, Mr. Chicken. I'll fix your place up. While I continue to live in my tent. Using tools to deplete your stamina. If you run out of stamina, you'll pass out and wake up in your house the next day. Choose a meal from the item bar with Y to eat it. Eating meals will recover stamina. Eating turnips. Yum yum. No, I don't recover much. Well, I am kind of doing hard work here. I'm a little tired. Man, you got so much work to do. What are you talking about? I got berries. Oregano? Oh. Chicken? I'm tame the chicken. I'll bring it to me in the tent. Uh, you have no place to house the animal. Try again after you've repaired the applicable dilapidated facility. Uh, I have to learn how to do that, I'm assuming. Resources it takes to fix the coop. Let's see. Uh, several dilapidated structures exist on the farm. Try to repair the coop first so you can raise chickens. Uh, I need logs, stone, and grass. Oh, okay. I do not have anywhere near enough for what I need. Go to, uh, to the restaurant before it closes. I work short hours in this town. Everything closes at six, and you get to stare at the wall for the evening entertainment. Okay, where was the cafe? If you're hungry or low on stamina, why not have a meal at the bistro? Um, Masaki's comforting entrees will greatly replenish your stamina so you can get back to work feeling refreshed. Hours of operation, 12 to 10 p.m. Open every day. Oh, wow. Oh. You're not from around here, right? Are you a tourist? You're a big geek? Aha! Uh -huh. The mayor was going on and on about someone coming to take over the farm. I'm Blair. I work at the bistro. Nice to meet you. 
Does this place only have one farm? Hello. I've heard of you. You've moved to this town recently, right? The mayor, Victor, announced the news to everyone. I'm Masaki. I run the bistro. Do drop by sometime. It's been my pleasure to serve you. Hello. Mm, what do we have? Salad, soups, entrees. Oh, I guess uh, entree? What's an entree? Curry, rice, and an omelette. Hmm. Let's have some curry. Yeah, I can afford some curry. Norman sells various cooking ingredients at his store. His lineup will change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Why not experiment with some of his fresh seasonal ingredients next time you cook? I was Operation 86, closed Mondays. I'm not gonna remember all this stuff. Where are you, Norman? Hello. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I believe I've heard of you. You're a big D, correct? My name is Sydney. I usually work in the Sydney, in the city. Olive Town is a nice place. My family loves it here too. Wouldn't mind moving out to the country. It's actually one of my plans. Although I have to have some city life, uh, at least for now. Can't quite move to the country yet. to the flower shop. No house there yet. Hey. Let's see, 3,000 to upgrade the bag. How about the tools? Oh, I can't do this yet apparently. Okay, I must learn about it apparently. Let's go then. Gotta go do something that will completely you know, exhaust me first. Uh, there is a female main character, yes. So um, after you pick the way the character looks and uh, the clothes it wear and the clothes they wear, um, then it does ask you uh, if you're a son or a daughter. So um, uh, there's no uh, them they options. Uh, I think this was probably developed uh, well before um, there was any sort of acknowledgement of that. Um, so unfortunately, you won't get that. You will have to pick a gender, uh, but you can pick a male or female gender. Uh, I'm assuming that the different characters uh, that you meet are also different romance options for different types of genders. Um, at least that's how, how it was in the past. I don't know if maybe that's more open now. Uh, it's kind of going to be hard to say until we uh, do a little experimentation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, even with all the DLC uh, which I downloaded, um, you don't get a whole lot of options and how different the character is going to look. Uh, you get a couple things. Uh, but I wouldn't really call it uh, like a, like a lot of variety or anything like that. However, with that being said, that does kind of fall in line with a lot of these other games. Is that the, you know they give you some slight customization, uh, but uh, it's it's not going to be very extensive. Yeah, I was toy with the idea of having a female MC. Um, And I do that for action games because uh, I don't think that matters so much here. But since I have romance options, uh, I just would have a hard time, a harder time figuring out uh, who I would romance as a female character. Uh, because usually these games offer more female romance options than male ones, uh, and. Uh, just, like I said, just in general, not this game specifically, uh, but just generally, like, the male romance options usually kind of suck. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what it is about uh, male, you know, our male romance options for females, uh, but they didn't. They tend to not be good, or at least nothing that I would go. Oh yeah, I think those two should hook up. Yeah, I didn't really. I also end up disappointed with the archetypes they, they use for males. But for the females, they, they tend to there tend to be more varieties of personalities. And again, you know that that may not be the case for this game. Maybe this is one of the games that uh, that not real tired that has more variety. But I, yeah, I don't hold my breath for those sort of things. Hit swing and miss. Hmm, are there any forest spirits in this game? I wonder. Maybe that's Harvest Moon specifically that has harvest spirits. I do think it's kind of cool that these two series can exist side by side with the, you know, original creators moving on to a story of seasons, you know, this series, and then. Um, the original publisher of Harvest Moon uh, still publishing Harvest Moon games, which have their own, you know, their own style. It's usually not a relationship that you see a lot of uh, in uh, uh, publishers and developers. It's usually a lot more cutthroat than that. Okay, a fern, huh? Uh, how much do I need of everything? Enough grass. I need more logs and. S oh, I just need more log. Oh, wait. No, I, I have all that, don't I? Yeah, let's repair it. Ooh, it's nicer than my house. Uh. Oh, here, how about this? Um. We'll call it Buck Buck. Yeah, sure. Chickens can be raised in coops by giving them fodder or letting them graze outside. They'll lay eggs in the coop for you to gather the next day. All right, my little friend, it's time. In order to take care of this animal, you'll have to bring it to the proper facility. Move to facility, yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have nothing to give it. Tame this animal, yes. Oh, I can give it a name too. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm just being cuckoo. If you ring the bell in front of the barn or coop, the animals will go out to pasture. If you leave them out, they'll happily eat the grass on the farm and enjoy the fresh air. Mm -hmm, all right. And my tent. Uh, I think the weather's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, so we should be okay there. Yeah, um, I said, I, I don't know. We'll... We'll see about the romance options. There's always a romance option in these games. Um, and, you know, at least they do give you male and female. Um, they just don't give you uh, them, they. So. Top of the morning to you. I hope you're ready for another lesson. Today, I thought it'd be wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. Unfortunately, I'm not what you call a specialist, so I've enlisted the help of Nigel, our local carpenter. Come on, Big Deke. My specialty is housing and furniture, you see, but I know enough about materials to teach you a thing, too. Have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful things with them. You can turn them into a fence for livestock, for one thing. If you're going to run a farm, I'd say it's a pretty good use, eh? Naturally, you'll figure out ways to utilize your materials as you go about developing your farm and such. Crafting, uh, you can make items from the crafting menu in your notebook as your skill level levels increase, more crafting recipes will become available to you. Might as well teach you about 
uh, makers while I'm here. See, makers can process your raw materials into new materials entirely. Real useful tools, makers. Once you get your hands on them, I'm sure you'll figure out even better things to craft. One thing to keep in mind when using a maker, though, they'll take time to process your materials. Figured I'd let you know. Makers are special farm facilities that can process various types of raw materials. Makers are special farm uh, I read that. Splendid explanation for Nigel. Quite easy to follow, don't you think? Now, how will you use your newfound knowledge? That, of course, will be entirely up to you. For now, I should be heading home. Until tomorrow. Oh, you're like a stalker, Mayor. I just gotta make sure I stay on the farm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, th those are largely my opinions of the archetypes that they give, um, that they give the males for romance options. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you feel differently about it. I, I never, I never feel that the uh, the males are, are as well crafted as the females, or at least just offering personality types that uh, that uh, that I think would be interesting to people. Definitely want to operate this watering can. All right. Oh, we didn't want you, did we? My poor cherry tree. Okay. Let's look my old chicken friend out. Ding ding. Let's, oh, sorry, birdies. Let's ship what we have. We have some sap. I guess. Uh, grass. Oh, wait, I want to keep some grass, don't I? Uh, wild berries, oregano, stones, ferns. Let's do that. Okay, I don't know when you do more tilling. We can clear the land a little bit more. I can't really see, so I sort of have to chop these trees down first, in order for me to even see what I'm clearing. Kind of a funky angle. Let's see, feeding your animals. Place fodder in your animals' feed bins. They'll eat the fodder from the bins every day. Animals who have been fed will produce byproducts the next day. Byproducts. Oh, okay. Well, I can't use that. I guess I need to buy feed. Well, I only have one chicken, so he can be a free-range chicken, which is really my preference anyway. the sapling. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> Time's at nine. 
Oh, but it's Tuesday. Most of the places are closed on Tuesday. Well, I might find people around town then if I... Darn it! <laughs> That's... It's kind of hard to figure out what square to put this thing on. I'm not super precise with my analog stick either. Let's just go see what's open. Uh, walk around with this sickle. Uh, grass and sap and ferns. Keep my rocks and my. Uh... Well, actually, I guess I don't really need to. I mean, I have plenty of uh, opportunities to uh, gather that. All right, let's see if anybody's around town that I haven't met yet. how relaxed this town is, but I guess a little bit more excitement would be nice. Mm. It wasn't that long ago that people used to say this town had more animals than people. Uh. If town gets busier, we'll get more customers, too. I kind of hate being busy, though. Okay, what are you guys doing on your days off? Uh. Sometimes I think there may be more animals than people in this town. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forget it's a small town. I love this town. Uh. All of town is such a nice, peaceful place. Here. Sorry, this place is closed too. Uh. Okay, well, uh, work, work, work then. See if there's anything else I maybe would have missed. I think I went into Marco's house. I met his wife, Patricia. What was it, Patricia? I, you know, I don't really know. Maybe that was Manuela. I'm not be the. I'm not gonna be the kind of neighbor that remembers stuff. Quite to the opposite. Town looks like it got it all, but it's really kind of podunk if you ask me. Well, I mean, it's out on the farm, and what do you expect? Um, let's see, did we meet all of you? We didn't meet all of you, I think. Huh. Yeah. Huh? Hello, Kiki. Is that all the rest of this town? See, that's Yordi. That's the shrine. That's the lookout. Alright, uh, uh, back to work. I still have stamina. Here, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, did I hit everyone? Oh, um, well, maybe not. I don't recognize all of those faces. Huh. Oh, there's a ton of people there, huh?
What's here? General store? Is everybody in the general store? Says you gotta raise crops, uh, different crops every season, but man, there's way too many crops to think about. Uh, I don't know how you managed to do it. Well, I have one so far. <laughs> yeah, shop's closed. Can't buy anything. down more stuff. Let's see. What would I, I probably want to clear this. Hopefully I'll earn enough to buy some more seeds tomorrow. Let's see, how far does this go? Blood clam. Let's go ahead and go fishing too. You hold Y to reel in a fish. When a fish is white, it will be reeled in slowly. As you're reeling in a fish, your, fish's ro ro your fishing rod's durability will gradually decrease. If the, if the gauge falls to zero, the fish will get away. When a fish turns red, it's angry and will take a toll on your rod's durability. If you try to reel it in, uh, if you try to reel it in, so let go of Y if you see red. When the fish is blue, that means it's tired out and easier to reel in. Fish got away. Oh, really? Jeez. <laughs> Fish up a sardine. One, three centimeters. Oh, boy. Fished up a Kazami crab. It's 37 centimeters. Whiskey Velvet Shrimp. 
Huh, okay. I should probably clear more of the forest here. Darn it. I don't know, I can't really see it. We will chop, chop, chop. Days off for me, no sir. trees but uh, you know as far as the game is concerned I should probably clear all of them oh jeez I'm getting tired Chicken smarter than me. Which is not really saying much. I mean, it doesn't take much to be smarter than me. And chickens can easily accomplish that. Okay, sap, grass, onions. I can donate some of this, I think. Yeah, why don't I hold on to that? I'll just keep it in my pocket while I'm sleeping. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh, we got 630 bucks. I said, wow, that's not really a lot. Good morning! I hope tent life is treating you well. It seems to me like you're getting used to it, in fact. Still, I know a tent is neither luxurious nor convenient, which is why I want to teach you about home expansions today. Your home uh, tent can be expanded into a log cabin with enough materials and money. Remember Nigel? Oh, remember Nigel, the fellow from yesterday? As I mentioned, he's our local carpenter. If you head on over to his workshop and commission him, he'll be more than happy to upgrade your house into something special. Uh, expand your home. You can request house expansion at Nigel's Handiworks. Once you've expanded your house, you can cook, own pets, and live your best farm life. You could cook your own meals, take a bath to relax after a hard day's work. To do all that, however, you'll need to upgrade your tent to log cabin, so it might be a good idea to pri prioritize an upgrade. That said, I've taught you all I can. As mayor, I'm usually in town, so don't hesitate to come find me if you need anything. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. I'm sure you'll create a farm just as wonderful as your grandfather's. Okay, I'll wake up at six. Bright and early. So I can hammer stumps. That's my life. Oh, yeah, watering nothing. Okay.
Alright, it's not the chicken out. Oh, you eat all this grass that I'm cutting down. Opens the carpenter. I'm assuming it's going to take a fair number of resources to build my house. Okay. No, oh gosh. what I'll need for money and resources so I can move out of my tent. You may purchase farm facilities and upgrades at Nigel's workshop. Once you've prepared a dilapidated farm facility for the first time, Nigel will begin to sell them. You may also commission him to expand your home. Uh, eight to six, close Wednesday. Close Wednesdays? Oh gosh. Thanks a lot, Nigel. Uh, that's when I needed you. Uh, base tool shop. Uh, what am I gonna buy some seeds? Grocery store, I guess? Mm, have we met before? Oh, you're a big dick. It's nice to meet you. I'm Norman, the town's grocer. If you're ever looking for ingredients for, for food, you're I'm your man. Come see me anytime. Uh. This town could this town could do with a little more activity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's very considerate of you. Oh, what did I give him? Grass? Oh, okay. Well, here. How about how about I give you nothing and buy something? Okay, potatoes, turnips, radishes, tea leaves, beans, wheat, rice, coffee beans, cherry shiitake, honey, eggs, milk, kazami crab, spear squid, sardines. Uh, that is all the stuff that I've caught. Okay, so no seeds here. Materials, furniture, goods. Uh, let's see, let's grow some fodder, shall we? Uh, 
get some radishes. Am I out of money? What? Wheat, rice, coffee, orange, cherry. Oh, my bag is full. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'll be right back then. Okay. Uh... I suppose I need more materials, probably, for everything that will require my uh, house to be built. Okay, uh, cleared out a good portion of the land there. You might notice some odd little creatures hopping around on your farm while you're pioneering or working the farm. Maybe something good will happen if you find a lot of them? Maybe. Hello. 
Oh yes, I've heard of you. You're a big geek, correct? My name is Gloria. I curate the museum. You're welcome to peruse our exhibits anytime the mood strikes you. Hello. Uh, don't fish. Uh, sure. I don't know, is the crab considered a fish? Put it, I guess. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Just a sardine, nothing special. Hello. Okay. crustacean friend or shelled friend <laughs> exoskeleton friend Deep by any chance? Though, uh, thought so. I heard from Mayor Victor that you came here from the city. Hi, I'm Reyna. I work at the museum. Let me know if you ever happen across anything rare. Oh. I, I doubt it. Um. By animal statue, by treasure. Oh, okay. Hmm. This one here, did I? Hi there. Oh no, this is the one I did eat at. Right? What about the other one? The bistro. I think. I don't, I don't remember. the other one I didn't need that yet. Do a little uh do a little food tour uh you know, the two restaurants. Hi there a vegetable sandwich or pizza? A vegetable sandwich, huh? Um, yeah why not? Oh, there's a piece of fish there. Oh well. Stuck some extra entrees for me, apparently. I keep thinking that little chicken icon looks like a poop emoji. <laughs> I'm quite mistaken. I don't know what the general store, don't I? That's just for cooking. Bistro. I'm not gonna, never gonna remember where all this stuff is. Ah. My fodder isn't gonna grow quite yet, so let's buy some. Or a little chickadee.
Ooh, got an egg. Chicken, chicken's gonna go back there. Where the hell's my egg? Oh my god, I just laid that. Pass the time. Ah, another sardine. again. A bit early, kind of running out of things to do in the beginning, at least. Okay, why don't we stop it there? Uh, this is Autopostrophe. You've been watching uh, Harvest or Harvest Moon, um, Story of Seasons. Uh, pioneers of uh, Olive Town on Nintendo Switch. Um, I, I think it's I think it's just fine. It's uh, another story of season title. Um, you know, it's got good graphics and sound. Uh, you know, the gameplay is nice and simple. Um, you know, it's got you know all the kind of the same mechanics that you've enjoyed over the years for Story of Seasons slash Harvest Moon, uh, depending on when you jumped into the series. Uh, so yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a nice title to have. And if you like these kind of games, there's more of it for you to play. Uh, so yeah, I mean, not much else to say about it. Yeah, pick it up if you like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.